All right. Let's get back at it. One last time. What is that from? Oh, God, that's Hamilton. Oh, I feel bad now. Okay. Hi, everyone. Happy Thursday. We are back one last time with Tomb Raider Underworld, the last of the Tomb Raider Legend uh, trilogy. We're probably not going to take the whole stream to do it because we don't have that much left. And um, what's left is a lot of fun. So I'm looking forward to that part. It's good. I might be a little bit lackluster tonight because it's, oh, it's been a day. But we're here now. We're streaming. We're getting to play games. And it's going to be good and fun. And mostly we have a hammer full of lightning. And that's that's going to help me feel better in a hurry. We don't need to say that again. Resume. Uh, let's see. Hopefully it saved our progress at the end last time. If not, we'll just hop through the last little bit again. It does look like it's returning us to Chen Man, so we'll see the little cutscene where we pick up the hammer full of lightning again, probably. And that's fine. Uh, yeah. yep, there it is. Literally the very end. <laughs> this is good. This is a nice last time on Tomb Raider sort of moment. Thor, greatest of my sons, and the greatest weapon on Earth. I spent all day using a camcorder just like that one. Upon my return, it sucked. Old, Not the camcorder. The camcorder was fine, normal. but... I don't like doing video recordings. And fulfill our destinies. My least favorite part of my job. Especially when uh, there's all kinds of safety considerations and it's just it's rough. But we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about having a hammer full of lightning. Still a great ensemble, Laura. Well done. This is how you accessorize. Hammer for the lightning. It was, in fact, very, very frightening. More importantly, the key to Helheim, wherever that is. Time to pay Nappa a visit. Well, time to go to Helheim. The Ada and Andaman? Andaman. Andaman? I'm gonna go with Andaman. I don't know if that's right. I tried to say Andy Man C and that's that's not a thing either. Maybe it should be. I should get a C. Okay, we're gonna go. The heavy is just always the best look. I don't I like I understand why you're offering us this, but no, come on. Uh this might not matter a whole lot because did I mention we have a hammer that shoots lightning? We haven't used these two at all. Um, we're on a boat, so a spear gun might not be a bad idea. <laughs> what would a trank gun... I'm a, I'm a dodo. This whole time we've had a trank gun. We, we could have just been putting Kitty to sleep. We could have... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Well, we're not fighting Kitty now. We're fighting people. And people require a spear gun. Or, as I mentioned, hammer full of lightning. Guess which one is my favorite? Oh, just left a health pack out in the rain? That doesn't seem sanitary. Hooray. No, no. No, no. Hammer. <laughs> it looks remarkably small, you know, in the end. It's just, uh, it's just kind of a little hammer, and that's okay. A lily hammer, if you will. Is there any like spare treasure that left back here? We have all the time in the world, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna milk it. Oh boys! Oh, we can smash. Excellent. Hello, boys. Goodbye, boys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Would you like some? Oh, that crate took the hit. You love, you love a good crate. Makes you work for it. Good stuff. That's not the button. That's the button. Uh, you know what? Let's see. 
Nope, Laura. Laura, please. Nope, Laura. Yeah? Okay, bye. <laughs> oh, you went to space. That makes me happy every time. Yeah? Okay, bye. Yeah, you really? Do you see what happened to the last three guys? Why? Why would you do this thing to yourself? Have some self-respect. Or at least preservation instinct. Where are you? I hear the gun. I don't see the gun. Oh, there it is. Alright. Really trying hard to get this... Uh... There we go. That thing up there. Because uh, despite having Death Hammer, I take a remarkable amount of damage. Probably because I'm just sort of walking around with the hammer. Whoop! Well, that doesn't help. That was. Alright. Let's stop letting them regroup, huh? Goodbye. Hey, I found an exploding barrel. Let's try that again, but maybe a little bit less cavalier. It was fun, though. Do you... Spear gun? No, hammer. <laughs> Who am I? Some kind of spearman? Don't be ridiculous. Goodbye. It's just so fun. There they go. Uh, all right. So back to this puzzle. Luckily, they made these boats exactly the same, so that does help. <laughs> Get lost. All right, they made the boats the same, but the crates are in a different arrangement. That's unfortunate. Oh, wait, hang on. Found it. There we go. Aha! Nailed it. Hooray. Now then. I see you, exploding barrel, and I respect you. Y'all I do not respect. God, that's just ludicrous, and I love it. Well, that's what that does. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Hang on. Let me smash. Okay, bye. Alright, last time it was... Well, it was like down and around the front of the boat. Hey, better run! I heard they were making a woman Thor. There we go. I feel like Jane Foster would really appreciate the, oh yes really appreciate this thing that we're doing now I know I do 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 I've made the comparison before but I'm gonna make it again the the first time I remember playing a game where they give you a super weapon for like the penultimate chapter um, was Half-Life 2 with the super gravity gun and oh are you two a pair Look at you cut-ups. <laughs> always goofing. Anyway. Um, and so it's just always kind of set the standard for me. Ooh. You tried to hide, and I appreciate that. I respect that. It's a wise choice. Didn't work out for you, but... Um, so all of these other ones kind of feel like they follow on that. But boy, this is fun. Just the the slow deliberateness of it. Is there a health pack anywhere? No? No? All right. All right, the one piece of bad news is that we're dishing it out, but we really can't take it too much. We've made it to the cutscene, so we're probably fine. Avalon, Helheim, I don't care what it's called. Where is it? Look at all you've done. Incredible. I will never doubt you again. Oh, she's proud of us. Now. Very well. Not sure how to feel about that. But before you put me to death, prepared to wait for Odin to appear and perform the ritual to open Helheim? <laughs> and you know this ritual, of course. I'm sure you've realized that I want to get to Avalon just as much as you do. But neither of us can go alone. You need my ritual, and I need your hammer. If so, it no, has come to this. You step out of line, you'll get it. Stop! Oh, hi, Amanda. Destroyed my home. You killed Alistair! I got what I wanted. 
Isn't that all we care about? Oh look, it's it's us, Bob. Hammer versus Guardian. You remember how this went for the Guardian last time? Oh. Wait, us Bob pulled a Darth Vader? Seriously? There's no build up to that or anything. Dropping us coordinates. Bet. All right, take that glass with us. Could be important. You never know. So it was all set for another rematch with Amanda, like from the end of Legend, and then us Bob just threw her through the the uh, whatever that was. Why is there a hole in the middle of the? Um, Hole in the middle of the sea. Hole in the middle of the boat. It's fine. It's probably fine. Do we still have our hammer? Eh, we're going to bring the spirit gun regardless. Probably don't want to use lightning underwater. <laughs> At least not when we're in it. Oh, that's our C4. Okay, I was worried for a second. <laughs> I was like, who knew that we would come to this specific nondescript patch of ice? And the answer is we did. So we packed well. It's probably not nearly warm enough gear, all things considered, huh? We still have dolphin kick. We still have dolphin kick. Nice god rays. Love to see that. All right, there we go. Spear gun. Okay, big gears. Possibly of war. Uh, some cool statues. All right, your sword is up. One sword up, one sword missing, three swords down? Got it. Sort of, I think, maybe. That looks important. Let's head that way. Sorry, I'm trying to keep the camera level, but the kind of auto-adjustment of the camera is fighting me a bit here. No, go away. Go away. Be enough of a deterrent. Steering wheel. Got it. Okay, so this is the button we push for the finale. It's usually how these things work. <gasps> Health kit. Got it. We gotta raise the three swords. The Legend of Zelda: Three Swords Adventure. The first health kit. Yeah. I specifically said, stop it. <sighs> You're endangered. You shouldn't be attacking me. Aw, poor sea puppy. Hey, is he done? What a good message to highlight. Are the sharks less, uh, yeah, less aggressive than the jaguars? I mean, not much, not by much. am I looking at over here? Alright, so that's that. Uh... Oh, that wasn't a health kit. It was like a weird ruby? Okay, got it. Oh, this is health. Hello, health. Hello, health. Uh -huh. Give me the thing. There. <laughs> I do have light. We have light. Uh, so, Xenon, you haven't missed much. We we, uh, uh, we had Thor's hammer, and we uh, went absolutely apeshit on a boat. Um, and then the weird evil clone of us threw our ex-girlfriend down into, like, a ravine just as we were about to, to square up. Um, and the cool lady with the wings, Natla, has, has, just, uh, has agreed to meet us wherever the hell we are now, like in the Arctic. Ow. Um to open a gate to hell so that we can meet our mom. And it's going to be a nice happy ending and nothing can possibly go wrong at all, right? There we go. Nope, Laura, please. Camera, please. Nice 
So we go up there and then back. Yay! And Death Ruby! Yay. Is this a button? No. Just button shaped. Uh, ooh, treasure box? No, this one. Yay! Octage. Can I just, like... Whoop. Ow! Okay, I thought I was going to grab the ledge. The one that we fell right past. But I guess not. Why did I trust Tomb Raider to register my intention? Why have I not learned that for all this time... You know, like straight across to there. And then this drops us into water. Yeah, alright. Down. Okay. That was here. It's gonna keep going down. Dolphin swim. Alright, same idea over here. Oh, this is just this is just water all the way down, huh? Red gem. Nope. Nope. Yes. <laughs> and silver friend. Yay. Alright. And back. And probably get hopelessly lost. Alright, so I guess if those are platforms there, maybe we drain the water here at some point? Who knows? Okay, well, we clearly haven't been here. I don't think I would have missed the glowy. There we go. Did we come from... Okay, that's a dead end. Got it. Hooray! We know where we've been because we know where we can't go next. That's good enough for me. Alright, this is right back out. Good. Hi, hi shark puppy. Sorry, shark puppy. Ruby. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know you could do a... a oh, they, there's a name for that kick in, like, professional swimming, and I don't know what it is. That's right. Uh, Alright, we need one more. Get around here. Hey, Christy! <laughs> oh, good, we have scuba gear, which makes me question why Laura doesn't run around with the rebeater in her gear. That might be a dolphin kick. It's the one where you, you bundle up into a ball... Um, and then do like a quick upside down reverse underwater and kick off the wall of the pool to go the other way. Um, and it's the kind of thing that like a scuba diver doesn't generally need because the ocean doesn't really have walls. Um, but makes a lot of sense, you know, in a Tomb Raider game. Okay. I bet you have a thing in you. You do? Excellent. There's so many little things about this game that I wish had caught on more, like the fact that our uh, flashlight doesn't run out of juice ever, or our rebreather doesn't run out of air ever, and like, I want I want that in all of my games. I want that option. I want to be able to turn that on. Okay, at least we didn't take any damage. Thought we had that jump, but apparently no. Okay. No, Laura. Laura, please. Okay. <laughs> okay let's try this again. This scoots. Do we need to... Maybe we need to do this first. And then like over here. And then up. And from here? There we go. So we had the height, just not the directionality, I guess. Balance beamy. Uh, so yeah, we have Thor's hammer. Um, we took out a ship full of people. We uh, met Natla of the big Dom energy. Um, we met us Bob again, who was traveling with Amanda. Uh, hit. There we go. And just sort of out of the blue, right as Laura and Amanda were about to square up, us Bob threw Amanda into the sea, which was abrupt. Uh, so I guess we'll deal with that later. Uh, and then we freed Natla and she gave us some coordinates and that's where we are now. Ruby. I keep saying Ruby, but honestly, those kind of have the shimmer of a garnet, but that's probably not important. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. The things I do for Octahedrons. Please. Please give me the thing. Thank you. Yay. 
Uh, okay, so here we go. And down. Scooch. And down. Uh, let's see. Let's go up here. There we go. Go here. Uh, and then, like, there. Oh, no, we can't. We need a, a, a footing to do a jump. Please grab the ladder. Please grab the ladder. Okay. Didn't actually sound like we... It didn't look like we took damage from that, so at least we have that going for us. Uh, if I do this, can I grab that pole? Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. Hey. Hey, yeah. Garnet or dagger. Nice. We love a good Final Fantasy IX reference here on the channel. Those never go out of style. So I did discover right at the start of the stream... Wait, that's the wrong place. Hang on, I missed it. Um, that whoop! That apparently this whole time we've had the option of uh, choosing a, a tranquilizer gun at the start of all these missions. And if I'd known that ahead of time, I probably would have done it. Because we might have been able to just put Kitty to sleep as opposed to... Yeah, that was... I, I did a I did a oh no, um, because that seemed appropriate. This is a big gear that's just sort of floating out by itself, huh? Aha! That was the. I can't see it from here, but thank you very much for what is. It's either the oh, it's the hosting. Thank you for the host. There it is. Shut up in chat. So the the notification sound I've got on Streamlabs, I've recently discovered, um, and it's funny to go back and look at any of our Tomb Raider streams and, and have me going, wait, what was that? What's happening? Um, because just by chance, the notification sound I've got is remarkably similar to the found treasure noise in all of the Legend games. <laughs> so it's like, oh, oh wait, no, that's not that's not the thing. Uh, we go up here. Thank goodness we have these cool gloves. Alright, so now we have that. Let's get away from Shark Town. Hey, Mox! And is that an Alice? Hello, Alice! Alright, so now that we have the gears. Okay. That raises the sword. Cool! Alright. Let's raise the sword on these two, and then we'll go into the place where Hell lives. And as we all know, that's the place where dreams come true and everything is happy. Pro probably. Alright, so I'm guessing you have a thing? You have a thing! Eh. Awesome! Okay, that's cool to see it through the eyes of the statue. That's, that's a nice touch. Well done. Oh, I just noticed the skull. I think it's a certain kind of metal to have a tiny skull on the back of your helmet so that the person sneaking up behind you just sees that and has to, like, really give it a think before they just shiv you. Yeah, I love being able to see it through the eyes of the, the statue. That's so dope. All right, so we have power to the tracks, and now we have the, the swords unstuck. So I think now we use the big wheel in the middle. All puppy. Sad puppy. Just, just floating there as a reminder of our sins. Even in death, it is doing us a service. No puppy, no. I don't want more puppy. I mean, I do want more puppy, but I don't want to have to kill puppy. This skull goes, nyeh, when you're being snuck up on. <laughs> okay, Mox, you just give me a great idea for a new magic item. <laughs> it is I, the great papyrus. You are being stabbed. All right. Well, that's an impressive gate. So, well done, whoever did this. All righty. Try not to get claustrophobic underwater. It's probably fine. What are the odds it'll collapse now? After all these years. Alright, there's... Okay, cool. Oh, hang on. Health. Health first. Always health first. And we glitch through the floor. It's fine. It's fine. 
Yep, got it. Nailed it. Uh, da, 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 da. Up and around. And through. Excellent. Oh, uh, do we follow the blue glow? The blue glow is probably... Yeah, it looks like it. Alright. <laughs> follow the blue glow. That's probably good. That was a D10. You can't fool me. Let's get our hammer ready just in case. Can we... Okay, we're going to do something silly. Maybe I'll wait till I get around the next corner. But, like, I want to try to use the hammer underwater. And I really hope we don't just automatically electrocute ourselves. Hooray! Okay. Listen, sometimes you just have to do a science to it. Alright. Here we go. In the immortal words of Marie Curie... Damn the torpedoes full speed ahead. Or something like that. She might as well have said that, right? I feel like she had more right to it than the whatever naval guy who did it. Oh, oh, oh. Out of the water? Oh, good. Glowing red door. Glowing red door amid all the gargoyles. That's that's great. That's great. And Oh, and our tank is empty. Laura, do you want to mention that? How long has that been empty? You know what? I don't want to know. Oh, more death goop. Return of the death goop. Oh, hi, Natla. Bat. Bat wife. It's a complicated relationship. Alright, so there are three faces here, which I'm guessing are the three faces of, like, Natla and her two... Atlantean cohorts, the the triumvirate. That's just a guess. They never really explain a lot of stuff in here. Oh, that's nice. It's a metal album cover right there. Did they try to make Laura look uh, look more Angelina Jolie here. I mean, they definitely gave a visual upgrade to a lot of the character models, so I would not remotely rule it out. They did have cre uh, add creases to the forehead, though, which were not in the last two games. And I actually kind of like that. Hi. Hello. You're a Jotun. I know what to do with y'all. Well, listen. You give me an infinite ammo super weapon, and I'm just going to use it. I mean... You know what they say. When all you have is a lightning hammer... Go away. Uh, oh, look, it's a, it's a... Nope, hang on. <laughs> Hi there, how you doing? Uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Bye, bud. <laughs> oh, sweetie, if the Yoden didn't take me down, what, what did you think you were going to do? I mean, really. No, I... I fell. Right, everything looks like an electric nail, of course. Just like the old saying. Well, here we go again. Nope, nope, nope. There. We turned our flashlight on. Except I don't really want to see what's going on here. <laughs> <laughs> but nope, that's not... Laura, you're supposed to just climb up. That's with the button for climb up, not the button for jump. I know they're practically the same button because the game is bad at interface, but, like, just, just maybe... Maybe if you're thinking to yourself, there's no way he could want me to... No, we're not going to just shoot the Jotun there. Uh, he could want me to just you know, climb to death. Then maybe you just assume that I'm with you, and we don't want to do that. Hi, buddy. How you doing? All right. Now then. <clears throat> Again. As before. Once more. Don't you spit at me. That's rude. Go away. Ah. <sighs> Gravity don't job for nobody. <laughs> uh, gravity, the true final boss. It's as true in this game as it is in every Tomb Raider to follow. Actually, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna give Gravity the credit. Camera is the final boss. Okay, the giants first, very important. Little dudes. There we go. We love to see it. Go away. You two gone. A little bit more time to do this thing. 
do kind of have to do this legit for once. We don't have time to just stop. There we go. Wait a minute, is this all bonus? I'm gonna be sad if this is all bonus. Can I move this? What do you do? Uh-uh. No. Okay, we activated the bat signal. So, Bruce will be here any minute, I guess. Da -da 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 -da. I'm annoyed that that's not the way to go, but it's fine. Nope, up. Oh. What's worse is I think it's going to move our checkpoint to the other side of the balance beam. No, it's not. Okay, thank God. All right, so now we can just ignore that. Stop with the shooting. Why would you use any weapon that requires ammo now? Uh, okay, so let's plot this out. Uh, nope, I have no idea where I'm going. All right. Uh, can I just straight up jump to that little peg? Oh, that's a thing! <laughs> Never mind. We're fine. Everything's good. Genuinely had no idea this was a thing. Grab the, the thing. Why would I go here? What is the point of here? Here is death. Okay, we're not going there. Don't really want to go there either. All right, to the stick, to the stick, and then down. Laura, I'm so proud of you grabbing the thing I wanted the very first try. Crap, this is the wrong way. Well, as long as we're here. Let's grab the thing and hope to make the jump back. We did it. I'm proud of us. I wonder what happens if we activate all of the things. I tell you what, we're not going back to find out. Uh, okay, can we just like, whoop? Yeah, we can. This is a terrible idea. Oh boy, that's going to be a big one, huh? Whoop. Got there. Hey. All right. Yeah. Is that reading of a steak from that werewolf movie? Could be. I, I honestly, I haven't backtracked the etymology of steak. I know that it's like proliferation for me absolutely came from Minecraft because it's it's the first like craftable thing that isn't a plank or a crafting table is a steak. Um, so it just kind of became the thing that I'm constantly having to remind myself to make. But I don't know where it started. Into hell we go. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's follow the red lights of safety. You know, like at the movie theater. Hi, buddy! How you doing? Okay, bye. Hey, how about you guys all gather up and then... Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. That's so sweet. Go. Thank you very much. The smash is very good. Oh, is it just you? That's a shame. Could you just back up a little bit? That'd be great. Thanks, buddy. Hey, big fella. Uh, listen, you're kind of in the way of... Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Perfect. Thanks, fellas. Oh, I appreciate y'all lining up in this tight corridor. It's so nice of you, really. You love a considerate zombie, you know? Don't run into a lot of those these days. It's a real shame. I played this Skyrim mod. <laughs> Doesn't look. Mother, it's me. It's oh, Laura. Laura. Oh, okay. No. All right, that's not great. Not ideal. No, no, no. My mother is dead. My 
My mother is dead. My mother died a long time ago. You're not my mother. And I've never seen such delicious irony. When I heard what happened to the wife of the great Richard Croft, I knew I could set him on a desperate quest to find what I desired most. Then he betrayed me in Thailand, and for that, I killed him myself. But when you showed up with Thor's gauntlet, I knew I could send you off in your father's footsteps, confident they would lead us to this very spot. Can talk for someone who isn't holding Thor's hammer. Oh, okay. Hi, Osbob. Oh, you work for Natla now. That makes sense. She had no idea that my true purpose was to have the means to destroy you at this very moment. The two of you never suspected. Now that's a long play. Actors in my play, and so it ends. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a serpent to raise. Oh, good. Time for Jormungandr. Ooh, that's not great. Probably worse. Oh, wait, hang on. Oh, look! Well, our ex is here, so this just got awkward. I like the jacket, Amanda. Nice look. But the Midgard Serpent will tear the world apart, and only Thor's hammer can stop it. Oh, good. The giants are here. So, I'll hold them off. Starting to worry that Laura might have a thing for uh, short, blonde, potentially evil, magical women. It's not a bad thing to have as things go. It's just, you know, it's you, you kind of want to address that at some point. Bad road. I just read the word zombie, and I'm never going to forgive you for that, so thank you. That's the worst thing. However accurate it may be. Okay, so she's standing up there all Blood Omen style. That's probably fine. Let's just, um... Can we, can we drop down? There we go. Well, this will be fine. Oh yeah, this is this is good. This is a good game ending mechanism. Hey! Shut it down. Guess who's still here? Unexpected, but I'm glad you're here. You should be allowed to see firsthand the fruits of your labor. That's the Midgard serpent. Of course not. Jormungandr is the network of tectonic ridges that encircles the earth on the ocean floor. We stand now on its weakest point. Where the ancient supercontinent Pangaea first broke in two. It's fury below. The very I mean, they're not wrong. Okay, so... Oh, wait, hang on. Listen, thousands year old engineering is allowed to break down once in a while. Expecting it all to work perfectly the first time is just ridiculous. Out of time, you say? Uh, okay, hang on. We can. We can do this, we can do this. I believe in us. Whoop. There we go. Whoop. And around. Okay. Amanda, why? Ah, Laura, please! Oh, we kind of glitched out of that one, but... 
Listen, it worked. That's what matters. Can we can we go up? Just go right here. Because this looks important. So I appreciate that this game completely did away with... Uh, oh, that's not a ledge, huh? That sure looked like a ledge. Um, completely did away with um, quick time events in favor of occasionally doing a slow-mo sequence like this. Which is just way less prone to... I mean, like, it has bugs, but not game-ending bugs. <laughs> Alright, let's try the lower path, I guess? Sure. This totally looks like a ledge. Uh, I don't really see where we're supposed to go from here. Okay, maybe we come to this one later. I am absolutely going to get these little, like, weird mechanism things out of order, I'm sure. Uh, I don't think I can go there. Now the question is, can I go back down? There we go. Let's get back to the main area. There we go. Smooth as you like. And drop a bit. There we go. But only a bit. A little more. A little more. And down. Uh, that looks like death down there. Although, maybe not. That could be something. Can we get down there? Can we get down there safely? Mm, no. Okay. Cool. So it's important to verify these things. Quite literally, look before you leave. Alright. Uh, so if that's a no-go, what about you? Can we jump on you guys? So fair warning, um, this whole puzzle is about weird rotational platforms. And usually it's nice and relative. So it's not too bad, but uh, there will be a spinny, so just uh, forewarning on the spinny. Alright, so we do that, and then come off here. There we go. Wait, why am I here? <laughs> and, and, nope, nope, forward a little bit. Perfect. Perfect. Only thing down here, the health? Not that it's a bad thing, per se, but uh, can I get back up out of here? <laughs> okay, we can stand down here. Exit. Oh, hi there. Nope, not the not the pistols, Laura. Talking to you about we have to default to the hammer. Thank you. Uh, right. Well, we yes we can. Good, 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 good. Dang it, that looks up. Okay, so I can push this out. That lets me assume. There it goes. Okay, now we can chimney jump. No, huh? Sure looks like a chimney jump, doesn't it? Why? Why, Wall? No, huh? Huh. Why? No. Alright. Maybe pushing it back is all we can do? Weird, but okay. Ow. You know, I knew she was still out there with the fire. This whole thing is all just about remembering a very complicated order of operations. And I have forgotten the complicated order of operations. <laughs> Uno. Why? Why always the double fireballs? Double fireballs? It's like rubber fireballs. Only two of them. Oh no. Nope. Lower, please. Listen, I'm kind of busy with an engineering problem, so if y'all could just maybe form an order to the line. Mendo was really tired from those two fireballs. She's gone off for a coffee break. <laughs> I mean, that's fair. Uh, okay. Last time we saw those things, they were basically like a battery of some kind. I still don't know how to get back up to where we were, but at least now we've created... Oh. I have no explanation for what happened there. Let's try it again and see if it happens twice. It didn't. I still have no explanation for what happened there. Hey. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, is this a chimney? There we go. That's that chimney jump I wanted. Okay, got it. Uh, 
I guess. And that led to you mine. Lord. Just so impatient. And oh, okay, got it, got it, got it. Uh, so if I can get up to here. And I can jump on this spinny bit again, maybe. No, there's no way I'm reaching that from there. Uh, can I jump to here? Yes, I can. Hooray. Uh, and then jump back to here. Made it. Our ankles took a nap. You know what? Honestly, yeah. That uh, that about that about captures it. Whoop. There we go. Ow. Oh, we dodged it. Thought we were gonna get a fireball in the face. All right. Now what does this do? Nothing anymore. <laughs> Oh, we've made another ring of platforms. Okay. Yeah, the frost giants are also hanging out. Natla, please. You're just, you're making a spectacle here. Look at this. You ever just have those days? I just, oh, this thing is just such a mood. She's never going to run out, huh? All right. Well, at some point... We have to move forward. I meant to say a thing earlier about the, um, like, the extremely awkward, uh, kind of hackneyed metaphor for grief thing that they did with Laura's mom being a zombie in this, because it's really just weird. And it is really weird. Um, but it just, you know, as, uh, as metaphors for grief in gaming go, it's not the most unsubtle one I've ever seen. It's not great. Okay, so now we have to ride this one around and just wait for the weird platform taxi. Uh, okay, that's that one. I think we wait until we get to the third row? Seems like it. We have to wait until we get a little closer. Now, whoop. Uh, now, ask me what that's done for us, and I have no idea. Might be to get there. Might need to go there. Let's see if we find any more tempting platforms along the way. Uh, so Amanda's just a regular person who found a magic amulet uh, and gained control of an ancient magical guardian. But, so far as I know, she's still human. Uh, okay, and then... Got it, that's a ledge. This up here, maybe? Adela, please! Okay, that gets us over. I swear we've been here before. Okay, that gets us back around. Oh, wait, have we been here before? Maybe we haven't. It just looks similar. It's too Raider. After a while, it all looks the same. Yeah! Slow mo. Sort of. Sort of slow mo. Lord of Snowmo. Well, whatever it is, it's Snowmo. So. Around. Uh -ha. Ended up thinking of that one quest in Dragon Age 2. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole thing. Alright, that's cool. Um, can we just chimney jump up there? Probably not. That'd be way too easy. But what if we could? Oh, we can't. <laughs> but what if? <laughs> Alright, so now we're trying to get up there at some point. Uh, in the meantime... Oh, hello. Hi. I'm sorry. Did you step out of the waterfall? Well done. Ow. Alright. I was looking for the other giant, and... Okay, Natla... Now you're just being annoying. Hey, hey. There. All right. Just keep running. Got the fireballs. Totally fine. Ah, uh, crap noodle. <laughs> uh, hey, hey, hey. No. Okay. Uh, here. Okay. And then if we go like there, around here. Near as I can tell, uh, if we get a slow-mo sequence where Natla throws a fireball at us, we're on the right track, probably. I think is how it goes. Um, is this a 
down or an up? At the moment it's a down, so... <laughs> oh, okay. Got it. Okay. Uh, hmm. Alright, and then this gets us nowhere, because you're in the way now. That's fine. We go, like, this way. I might just go down. What do I... Woo. Okay. I don't know where I'm going anymore, and it's probably fine. Okay. This looks like a chimney jump. And I'm pretty sure we haven't been here because I would have picked up this thing. Hey, Al. Welcome to the end of the world. But, uh, on the, on the plus side, our evil clone is dead. Um, and, uh... Our ex is helping us out now. So, like, that's kind of sweet. Okay, this can't be right. I think we did this whole thing in reverse. <laughs> so let's do it again. All right, so there must have been a way up from where we were, I guess. Hey! You know, I was saying to myself, self, I was saying, uh, there's no way that this stream will take the whole two hours tonight. And then, and then, I just had to go and open my big mouth. All right, so there's a way up there somehow. Unless we have to open one of the other ones. Let's go the other way. So this whole thing is one big ring. Oh, ring, hang on. What if? What if? What if the ring is the thing? What if the ring is the point? Okay, let's bring this down. Not the movie, the ring. That's never the point. We know this. Okay, end of the roll? What else is new? Uh, so this is the the finale of the whole thing. Um, oh, come on, Laura. Okay. That was totally your fault, Mario. Yep. Ooh. Uh, so... The short answer is no, this is not a, uh, a prequel, it's a, I'm sorry, you said sequel. I don't know why I read prequel. Ignore me, my brain is in a, you know, state of goop. Oh, okay. Okay, sure, this is what we're doing now. All right, got it. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so like, got it. This is fun and good and fun. Um, can I jump from here to there? Can I make that jump? I don't know if I can make that. Well, no, hang on. Ha! Holy crap, we can make that jump. All right. A smash. Nope, that's, you can't kick it, Laura. <laughs> it's an ancient magical device. Don't kick it. It's called Halo, and it's art. Nice. Oh, Amanda, run. Amanda, run. I'm rooting for Amanda, it's so weird. Uh, so the lady with the wings is Natla, this is Amanda. Amanda, who was the antagonist in the first game, and there are some similarities in character design, so it's totally understandable to be confused. Nice. That's Natla. Natla's the former queen of Atlantis who wanted to end the world and was the antagonist of the second game, and also this one. It's fine. It's probably fine. Would they kill a potential gay love interest in a Square Enix game? Oh, no, wait. Uh, alright. So, there's this thing here. Nope, come here. Nope, nope, no. Yes. Uh, alright. Can go down? Do I want to go down? Probably not the... That's not the button. So yeah, Natla is an Atlantean, um, who were apparently some kind of... We never really got a formal answer on exactly what the Atlanteans are, other than not exactly human. Um, whoop. Oh, okay, maybe not. Thought we had that jump, but oh boy, that's a... We found an invisible floor well above the actual floor way down there. That's, that's cute. Um, <clears throat> let's try this again without the dying part. But yeah, so the wings are because she's an Atlantean, which is sort of like the Gelfling thing from um, uh, a Labyrinth 
course I have Wing 7 Atlantean. Doesn't really make a whole lot of sense on its own, but that's the that's all we get in terms of explanations. Uh, okie dokie. So now that we have those three, that will get us to the central pillar, which will, I think, get us down that thing to the last piece. Um, but I don't think I can survive that jump to that one. So, what if... Okay, hang on. If I do like this, can I go off the side? I can go off the side. All right. That's what I was supposed to do. Whoops, a doodle. <laughs> Excuse me. Hey, can I borrow? Ride. Thanks. Thanks, weird floating platform. The mid ocean. There it is. All right, let's wait for this one. Okay, do you mind? Do you move a little, a little bit closer. Just, just a little, just a little higher. All right. Now, if I know anything about RPM, the one in the middle will go the fastest. Whoop. Uh, if you haven't seen Dark Crystal, I would highly recommend, if you have access to, to Netflix, starting with the new show. It pretty much captures all the, the stuff from the movie without a lot of the kind of awkward stuff from the movie. Okay, I hopped on this ride with the assumption that... Okay, there we go. There are some pillars up. I'm like, are we just going to go around in circles forever? Because we might... But yeah, the um, and I actually quoted it wrong because it's it's the line in the original Labyrinth movie is of course I have wings I'm a girl, which is is as much explanation as you get. That's that's it. That's the line, um, and that's the world building in Labyrinth for you. But it's okay because Fizz Geek is there. Oh, okay. So if I can go down and then to the side, and then up, and then up again, and then or, okay, got it. I'm with you now. I understand. Oh God. I love it when the slow-mo hits after we've already made the jump. I'm also very glad we don't have a grip strength meter. God, yes. Oh, that would be the worst. All right, so now I just think we ride this thing down like some kind of Tony Hawk game. Okay, so we drop and surf in USA or something. And I think we just fall off. We do inject, just fall off. And now, hammer! Hooray! <laughs> Excuse me. It's fine, we'll just eat some Endura shrooms. Wow. So, what happens when the giant tectonic device falls over? That's probably fine, right? That, they probably built in like a totally safe fail state. They're like some magical fuel rods. Oh, nice! Damn, into the goop. Hi, Jormungandr. We hardly knew ye. Hey, Dave. Fall down, go boom. Exactly. Oh, that's perfect. Thank you, Bad Road. And thank you, Alice, because that's amazing. <laughs> Hooray! Okay, come on, we have to get out of here. Sundari to the end. I respect that. Killing the Midgard servant. The aura dies from its venom anyway. Not if you clear the corridor and get us out of here. I love them. <laughs> out of juice. Just like Bolivia. The good news is we saved the world. Bad news is now we're gonna die here. Oh, just like your mother. <laughs> Wait. Literally too soon, Amanda. Oh wait, is one of the portals here? It's come full circle. Yes, the sword and the stone. We're back where we started. Mother must have tried to use it to escape, but didn't know how. It's totally not a stargate. If pulling out these artifacts always brings you here, what will happen if I'm already here? Maybe you'll go to hell. I think that's wishful thinking. Wow, what a great out of context quote. I feel like that's what I'm gonna remember. Damn it. Oh, seriously? Hold out your hand. You 
That's right, Amanda. We have to hold hands to save the world. Really have to mull it over? You, you sure? <laughs> and then we were vaporized and never heard from again. See, that's us there. Yeah, you Ooh. Oh, you hate that. Portals are always so rude about the whole momentum thing. Just just gonna walk right past Skeleton Bob. Without even saying hello. Oh sweet, we have a sword in the stone again. We're just cycling magic items at this point, I love it. So it's back to this, is it? What? You think we're even? Speedy thing go in, speedy thing we're come out. It's funny, it feels like everyone else's model got a visual upgrade except Amanda's, which makes her face look just so much goofier by comparison. Which, like Al was saying, makes for that whole face dirty thing to kind of just not really work so great. Although yes, Cool Face Journey is still a great name for a band. Goodbye, Mother. Rest in peace. Oh, I just realized what this place reminds me of. That's a freaking altar of storms from Warcraft. Sorry. Probably not the time for that. Oh. Okay, that's actually really sweet. I don't know who Kyle is, but... That's very sweet. I'm a little bit worried for Kyle if a game about death and loss was dedicated to them, but... It's still sweet. So, um... I think we can all agree that this trilogy is an absolute goofball ride. It's not an ending. It's absolutely not an ending. Um, and what's really embarrassing is that it's still a more coherent story and a more satisfying conclusion than the trilogy that comes after it. And that's really kind of sad. But honestly, as action movie games go, I think that these did, you know, they didn't, these didn't really, maybe a little bit in the middle there, but for the most part, they didn't really try to overpromise. Like, they just, they were like, no, we're not going to explain it. Atlanteans have wings. What? That that one guy's got like a weird crab mecha thing now. Also, mummies are snake people, kind of. It, it's a Tuesday. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you, what are you thinking about it? Just shoot him. Um... And to that end, it does it great. Um, but it's not what I would call like a good game <laughs> or a good series of games. <laughs> this, uh, so this, the Legend Trilogy, and it's kind of its own thing. Um, with the exception of Anniversary, which is a remake of the original, the Legend Trilogy doesn't really ever come up again in any of the Survivor games. The Survivor games are just a total reboot. Let's just throw it all out. And, and play it, you know, just by itself. Um, and the difference is that the Survivor Trilogy really tried to take itself seriously and pitch itself as a story of, like, growth and, and the narrative of Laura becoming Laura, and it, then it wasn't that. And this is actually a more cohesive emotional journey, at least for Amanda, if not for Laura. Um, and it's just like, yeah, it's it's a goofy action movie kind of thing, and it's weirdly fun. I am debating playing something else now, because we did, in fact, wrap it up in just an hour. Um, I'm also considering giving myself the second hour off to just let my brain recongeal after playing whatever the hell that was. <laughs> because this... Playing it a second time doesn't make it make any more sense. In fact, if anything, it makes it that much more obvious 
the number of things that they just accept you to accept. <laughs> um, but yeah, we might be... Uh, we're going to let the credits roll, as we always do, as is tradition. Um, and, I, and I think well-deserved. Because even for ridiculous games, a lot of work went into this. Um, and they really did try to... to um, at least in terms of the gameplay, really, like, you know, go that extra mile with Underworld. And, and they did some good stuff, which is nice. But also uh, some some questionable decisions were made. It's, it's a mixed bag. Um, but it's, it's, it's the most playable of the, the three of them, even if it just is goofy. And they at least tried to bring all the threads together, which when you consider what those threads were is kind of impressive. <laughs> like... It's, it's, uh, anyway, I, I keep trying to make sense of this game, and that is a mistake. There's no sense to be made from this game. The point of the game is Laura shoot thing and climb, and then hold girl hand and save world. And that's it. That's the game. Uh, and it's just, it's making me realize how much I don't know that I could go back and play the Survivor Trilogy again. Because <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just want to play this again. Because it's goofy, but it knows it's goofy and it enjoys it. And that's great. This is not a place of narrative. <laughs> okay, but put that on booty shorts. It's like actually paying attention to the lyrics of the Justin Bieber song. Ow, why would you bring this evil here? But also, yes. Uh, so, um, what I don't understand, because, yeah, they didn't explain it. Um, way back at the start of the stream tonight... Us Bob threw Amanda f down, I don't know, some kind of like a weird chasm in the boat, and I assume that she just went into the ocean. Um, you know, which we've fallen off of high heights into water in this game, so clearly it can be done. Um, and she does have her, she did have her, her pendant of uh, infinite, like, magical buddy back, so she probably used that to, to get away. Um, and, yeah, the, the, you know, we learned that Natlas survived the lava we threw her in an anniversary. So, really, it's a whole story about um, Laura and her immortal girlfriends. Which, actually, come to think of it, they do uh, kind of carry that tradition forward a little bit in, uh, in the 2013 game. They had to wish Sam to the cornfields to get rid of her because they couldn't kill her. She was too strong. And that's kind of dope, actually. Accidental, but still accidentally dope. And yes, yeah, I think she brought down the 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 hallway where all the Jotun Jotun Jotuns is is Jotun plural? Is it like moose? Wait, no, moose isn't. Is moose plural? Moose is plural. Anyway, <clears throat> uh, yeah, she survived that magic, but no, literally. Anyway, I'm just babbling now in a circle because I'm debating on how I want to play the next hour because we do have another hour, and I was not up for streaming Tuesday, and I'm not even going to pretend that I wasn't, like, right on the cusp of, of canceling stream tonight, but I wanted to wrap this up because I certainly didn't want to make anybody wait another week for that. <laughs> um, I think, I think ultimately, I'm making the executive decision now. Uh, we're just going to have it as a short stream this week. We're going to do a bonus stream this Saturday. I'm kicking off the, the last in a different trilogy in Final Fantasy 13 3 Lightning Returns which is a mouthful if I ever had one and let's just leave that sentence there and not explore it further um, and then next week uh, Monday and Thursday in we're probably gonna knock out in its entirety a, a lovely little visual novel called it Necro Barista um, which also is about death and also doesn't really have an ending but we'll get to that in due time um, it's a very cute little thing. It's not really much of a, a game, per se. It, it's it's just it's a visual novel, but it's a very cute visual novel with some charming characters, and it's short. So that's going to be a nice little breather next week. Oh, I can start early. Excellent. Okay. Perfect. Then, yeah, all the more reason. I will go ahead and bow out here, um, and we'll pass it on over to the, the Squirrelly channel. Obviously, maybe not immediately, but just whenever you're getting started. Um, for some Fantasy Star Online 2. Did I say that right? Um, and if it sucks, I'll start Final Fantasy, uh, oh, Final Fantasy VIII. Ooh, ooh, speaking of garbage games, I love, I love, it's my favorite. It shouldn't be. There's no reasonable, rational reason why Final Fantasy VIII should be my favorite. It's not good, but I love it. Um, 
Dave, the, the Saturday stream uh, starts at noon Eastern, or noon our time, I guess you could say. Uh, so it's, it's I keep calling it the morning stream because it feels like morning on a Saturday, but yeah, whatever. Um, but, uh, oh, apparently Jotnar, although Jotuns is also accepted. Good, because I've been using Jotuns. Um, if you told me it was something like Yotapodes or something like that, then I would have to throw you out of the chat immediately. Uh, that's not true. But, uh, yeah, I, uh, I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this absolutely ludicrous energy and just hop on over to the Squirrel of the Stream here in a little bit. We'll toss the host, uh, your way. Uh, please definitely give them a follow. Check out our About page as well. That has our, our whole a stream team. Um, and if someone would be so kind as to hit bang schedule in the chat, uh, it'll show up our uh, our website that has our whole stream team schedule for the week, including that Saturday stream I just mentioned. Um, I think that's it. I've babbled entirely too long. Just I like this opening cinematic still, even if the game is kind of garbo. Um, but we're going to go ahead and finally close the book on what is, and I don't have a good reason for this, my favorite of the Tomb Raider trilogies. That's not, no. My favorite of the Tomb Raider series? Yeah, let's go with that. My favorite of the Tomb Raider series. Um, because it's just goofy. And sometimes, sometimes we need goofy. Right, us, Bob? Take us out. Thank you all so much. Have a wonderful night. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. Please stay safe out there. And as always, we'll catch you all around for the next one.